Hi, and welcome to my 13th video on HTML. I was planning to make a tutorial on creating image maps, but when I look back at the videos I have made, I see none referring to inserting images on your web page. And I guess we need to cover that one first. So today we'll make a tutorial part 1, taking a look at inserting images from your computer and from the internet together with alternative text and how we set the height and width of an image. So let's get started. Now the image tag is defined as uh, IMG and it has no closing tag. There is no slash IMG. It uh, only contains attributes. And to display an image we use the SRC attribute which uh, stands for um, source. We have already covered linking pages from the same folder and different folders in earlier tutorials. So what I've done here is uh, that I have uh, placed a picture go to jpg in the same folder as my index page both uh, the one we're working on the text one and also the HTML one which we'll show afterwards and this uh, picture HTML should actually have been called index HTML now before we insert this uh, picture we need to open it and get some information about it right click and go to properties and here on the general tab you see the size of the picture it's uh, 254 kilobytes now usually when you take a picture it's going to come out in megabytes which is way too large and you have to reduce the size with uh, some kind of uh, program you could use Photoshop or uh, Adobe Elements and uh, make it for web and if you look at some uh, professional pages on the internet you're going to see that 254 kilobytes also is uh, much larger than it should be and uh, the reason for it is uh, the lower the kilobytes the faster the page will eventually load now on details we want to see the width and the height here we have it in pixels and we see that the width and the height are uh, identical 2400 pixels which is important and we're going to come back to that later on so let's uh, insert our picture and after IMG and SRC image source we have equal quotation mark and then the name of the picture which is uh, Goethe and the ending of the file which is JPG quotation mark and even though the image tag doesn't have an ending tag we still have to end the tag that we are working on slash bracket and one more thing here is uh, since the index page and the picture is in the same folder we do not need an absolute path all we need is the name of the picture here file save and when we click F5 now we're going to get a huge picture and the reason for that is we haven't uh, used height or width on this picture this picture has still 2400 pixels now I mentioned Photoshop and Adobe Elements but you have plenty of picture editing software out there many free on the internet and you could of course resize the picture to the amount of pixels you want before you even insert it in our web document now our picture has 2400 pixels on both width and height making it a square picture and not rectangular looking and this makes it easy when we now use the attributes width and height so let's put in some more attributes in our image tag and we'll start by uh, width equals quotation mark 100 quotation mark and also uh, height equals 
100. And right now I've written the number, but you could just as well write 100px for pixels if you wanted to do that. And let's take a file save and F5 and you see automatically the picture has been reduced in uh, size. And for a picture where you don't really know the value for uh, width and height or that they are different and you're going to reduce it you might get into some uh, trouble. If I wrote for example 150 here this picture would be a little deformed as you can see. So let's stick with uh, 100. And we'll take a fast look to see that we have gotten it correctly again. Now there's one more attribute I'd like to place here and that's the ALT attribute, A-L-T and that specifies an alternative text for an image. This is if the image cannot be displayed and we as uh, the authors of the page decides which alternative text is fitting for our image. There are many reasons why an image will not show. It could be a slow connection, an error in uh, the source attribute, a user not wanting to see images, etc. So just remember it's good work ethics to use alternative text. And for those of you taking an exam and publishing on the internet or other related subjects, it shows that you care about your audience. So here we'll uh, write uh, alt equals quotation mark picture of Goethe first ad quotation mark and then the space between the slash and bracket here. File save and that's not going to show any difference but when you hover the pointer over the picture you will get the text picture of go to first ad. Now this is not necessarily important but if the picture wasn't there it could be important for the person that wants to know what the picture actually contains. Let's uh, copy a picture from uh, the New York uh, Times and we'll go to World and we have a picture here which is uh, not square but rectangular in shape. Right click it and we have a copy link location which might seem like the obvious uh, thing to do but we want copy image location and then we'll go here and write uh, image source equals and then we'll paste in the location and we'll have to have a quotation mark again slash bracket and let's take a uh, file save go to our HTML page and uh, F5 for update and you see that our new picture has uh, been inserted and I want this picture to be the same height as the picture of myself I um, right click the picture and go to properties and I see here that uh, the width is uh, 190 and the height is uh, 126 and I want the height to be 100 which is the same as my own picture and then we have the width. What uh, I do is not necessarily recommended but uh, instead of putting in the height and the width I only put in the height equals 100 and if you leave out the width the height will automatically scale the width for you. So if we now take file save and F5 to update 
the picture will have 100 pixels in height and the width is scaled. And do not forget uh, to put in an alternative text on this. In our next tutorial, part 2, we'll take a look at how to align images on your text line, placing them left, right and center on your page and making text float around the image itself. Then we'll get to image maps. Until next time.